Oral arguments in a landmark case for Montana abortion rights began this morning in Helena. MTN senior political reporter Jonathan Ambarian was in the courtroom and tells us more about what's at stake. In 2013, the Montana legislature passed a law requiring a parent or guardian's consent before a minor can get an abortion. Now, after a lengthy trip through the court system, that law is in front of the Montana Supreme Court, which will have a chance to rule on whether it's constitutional. Planned Parenthood of Montana challenged House Bill 391, and it's never gone into effect. Last year, a district judge ruled it infringed on the right to privacy. Attorneys for the state argued that decision was wrong. They said this case is different than the Armstrong decision that's a precedent in many other Montana abortion cases because this bill deals with girls younger than 18. Instead, they said the court should balance the individual's rights with the rights of parents and the state's interest in protecting minors. Under Article 2, Section 15, a minor's rights can be infringed if the law is designed to protect them. So in this case, the full Article 2, Section 10 right to privacy doesn't attach because the law is designed to protect them. Attorneys representing Planned Parenthood said the judge used the proper standard when deciding the case, and the state hadn't shown this law was necessary to protect minors. Whatever interest the state has in promoting parental authority must be exercised neutrally, not as to favor childbirth over abortion, and certainly not to step in the shoes of parents to regulate the family relationship. And that is what the state is doing here. As is typical, the court took no immediate action and said they'd release a decision in due course. This isn't the only abortion-related case the Supreme Court is considering right now. They've also received an appeal challenging the Attorney General's decision to block a ballot measure that would specifically protect access to abortion in the Montana Constitution. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. A judge in Helena has ordered the state to go ahead with a poll on whether lawmakers want to overturn a veto Governor Greg Gianforte made on the last day of the 2023 legislative session. District Judge Mike Menahan denied Gianforte's request to stay his decision from earlier this year when he ruled lawmakers should get a chance to vote on Senate Bill 442. The bill would have directed some marijuana tax money to fund rural roads and wildlife habitat projects. Gianforte vetoed it, but the Senate adjourned before that veto was read into the record. The governor's office asked for a stay, saying their right to appeal might be moot otherwise, but Menahan said the Montana Supreme Court could still consider an appeal, even if the poll goes forward.